natural world around us, only to take what is needed. We survive and thrive by the laws of nature, humanity, and the spirit world. We are to respect our elders, our children, and our ancestors, to be grateful for the gifts of the Creator. The clans had a good harvest this year and have brought furs and the bounty of their crops. The harvest was plentiful, but this is not always the case. I'll distribute these bounties at times of need among less fortunate villagers. Today I'll send my panis to meet with two clans in conflict over the lands they need to grow their crops. The panis is the most trusted and wisest of my advisors. He'll restore the calm. There should be plenty of land, but there are English amongst us, and they are taking more than anyone needs. They come with wool coats, iron kettles, and weapons to trade, but they also bring new laws that we are not accustomed to. They come from a place where cattle are free to roam and do not wish to change. They tell us to build high fences to protect our crops. Yet they do not give us restitution for our losses. We have raised these concerns in Plymouth and other English settlements. Their laws are a mystery to us. They desire the land of Bacassid. It is the land of my kinswoman, the Mumpum, who is the wife of my son, Wamsara. They believe that because Namumpum is a woman and the wife of my son, she should answer to me. I have consulted with my spiritual advisors and they have said it is time for a summit of all sachems. We will come together with our hearts and our minds. We'll discuss the decisions that need to be made collectively. Then I will bring our concerns to Governor Bradford, who has proven to be a good listener. We must resolve this to satisfy the people. The ships continue to come, and our world grows smaller 